Well, thank you, Mark. In today's Lost Creek Care Center food segment, we are exploring just that, heirloom tomatoes. Now, what is an heirloom tomato? It's generally considered to be a variety that has been passed down through several generations of a family because of its valued characteristics. But some experts say to be an heirloom tomato, the seeds must be at least 50 years old and others say 100 years old. Regardless, there are actually hundreds of types of heirloom tomatoes in existence today and we're going to spend the next few minutes looking at just six of them. And here with me now, a few of our um, normal, typical <laughs> food experimentees and they're going to participate with us today. I know Andy's I thought a, we were doing fruit. Andy's a huge we are fan doing of fruit. tomatoes. This is definitely a vegetable. <laughs> it's I, good for you. That's all that matters. If it makes a difference, we have a tomato lover right here and <laughs> a, a what would you I like title? spaghetti sauce and pizza sauce. That's made with tomatoes. Salsa? Beyond that, not a Salsa? fan of tomatoes. That's, that's very true. Do you eat them like apples? <laughs> she probably would. Um, Come on. I've got to tell you though, right I'm now. not a fan of tomatoes either, not typically. But you're the expert, so you don't have to taste them, right? <laughs> but the first time that I tried an heirloom tomato, the, the flavor was so um, just very tasty, and it was um, just different than a regular tomato. It didn't so taste like a tomato. You're going to you're gonna be a changed man today, I think, after this. <laughs> <Somehow>. <laughs> so, but like we mentioned, we have six of these different tomatoes, and we're going to first see if they can guess them by the name, and then we'll bite into them. And uh, we do have Dan Beck's knives yeah. on set. I thought I was banned from these. <laughs> we're, we're, he he is, he is at home watching you <laughs> right now. Sharp. So we're going to be careful with these. But first, <laughs> let's get careful. off to our first tomato, which is actually the green zebra. Can you guess which one that would be? These both have stripes. That's true. <laughs> oh, you cut look it look open. <laughs> And yeah, you can, it looks like Jennifer, a you hold that. If you look closely, you can see almost like a stripe like texture on this tomato. And that's what's going to, you'll see that with several of the tomatoes that have zebra in their name. Um, you can see the stripes there. But, and you cut it open. What does it look I like did. on the inside? It looks like a tomato. It's green. It looks like a green Fry tomato. Fry it up and juicy. it might not taste like a tomato. You'd be good. Oh, we don't have a stove here. You're going to have to try it unfried. So go ahead and can bite have, into it. Do we have any garlic? <laughs> Eat it as is. Tastes like a tomato. <laughs> mm, Actually, refreshing. Wow. Different? It's not terrible. <laughs> That's a step up from where it we were at the terrible. beginning of the show. Coming from someone who doesn't, what, pizza sauce is the extent of your tomato. I'll take another bite. But don't get too full because we have five more to go. Mm. It does kind of taste like a fruit, the consistency. The next one, Candy's Old Yellow. The yellow one. <laughs> <laughs> you would be correct on this one. Go ahead and cut that open. Looks like a squash. All right. Careful. Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Hey, that's a little more fleshy. What yep. does that mean? And the texture is different on each of these variety of tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, look at the inside of that. That's 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 more Almost solid has the, there. It's like, like a kiwi melon. In the middle. The kiwi. Oh, yeah. Give it a shot. I'm nervous. Hmm. <laughs> yuck. I'm not allowed to say yuck, sorry. <laughs> Very that has, that has a different that is a different taste than I the, like green the green one. one. It has Green's a different Green's winning taste. so far. We have <laughs> <It's a race. laughs> We'll do two this time. Cavern black. The black one. You can see here, very dark. I didn't know there were black. And some of these are almost a purple like this is almost black, but some of them carry a purple tone to them. And then also the red zebra. Any ideas? <laughs> that? No, no. That one. This would be the red zebra you okay. can see. Again, by the stripes. It's just getting red. It's not completely it's, red yet. It's, it's a yellow orange. So go ahead and cut those two open. Okay. Ooh, this one is pretty. He's just hacking at I the, like the tomato. Hack. This is very awesome. pretty. Here, you need to have it's a bite pretty. of this one. Okay. It is. It's a. It will taste pretty in your mouth. And I think that is one, the, one of the ones I actually tasted. It makes me feel like I'm not eating a tomato, which is a good feeling. You don't think you're eating a zebra. That's not a good idea. I don't even know if that's illegal. Mm. The good news that's is that's a very different taste than the other other tomatoes. And it comes on a little after you bite it. You have to savor mm -hmm. it. And so green is still my favorite. It's a softer. It's softer too. I mean that softer consistency. But you can tell the difference between a regular tomato. Is that right, Andy? By color. By by color, of course. <laughs> okay, so we're supposed to try this one next. This is the. Oh, I forgot about that. Which one is this called? That is the red zebra. It's a zebra. The red zebra. Thank you. And the reason we're bringing these to attention not only because of the great flavor now, and that? taste, but <laughs> heirloom tomatoes are something. Recently, there's been some liberties taken with what exactly defines an heirloom tomato. But a lot of the varieties of heirloom tomatoes are actually becoming extinct or in the last 40 to 50 years because of the popularity of your traditional red tomato that looks um, just very, very appealing 
commercially. Um, some of these heirloom varieties have been uh, really become extinct, extinct. And so there's family farms out there. We want to thank Burgust Farms um, because they are the ones who provide the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. But there are family farms out there that are continuing these varieties of these heirloom tomatoes. Again, the seed's 50 to 100 years old. That's incredible to me that they, they just keep repurposing. And even just older God than created it, right? Yeah. yeah, and I've been told that you can take these seeds, lay them out, and, and um, dry them and use them next year. You start your own your heirloom. own heirloom there going you go. on there you the go. tomatoes. And yeah. we'll try it next year. Maybe Andy will uh, soften up to the <laughs> tomato family. I'm not a very good gardener. We planted blueberry and strawberry plants, and they died. I think you're destined for the tomato. You think is that easier to Give grow? Andy, Andy Lynch, tomato farmer. Oh, a whole farm. I've got <laughs> some land. <laughs> well, we do want to thank Burgust Farms and Grace and Abby Beck for growing these tomatoes. It's not unusual to find fields full of tomatoes right here no. in Putnam I mean, County. Yes. You know, this weekend you can find a lot more than that. The Christian worship band, Unspoken, oh. is coming to the region. Mark is with mm. the organizers of the event right oh, now. Good. 